Welcome to our F1 2024 Abu Dhabi Grand Prix predictions for the last time this season. It's all again, and I'm joined once again by. Let's go! You're back for the predictions for. Oh, yeah, the last one. It's been a long season, 24 races. Oh my god, the, the longest, the longest calendar in the in the history of F1, right? I think that was 24 races last year. Uh, 24 races. I was say like the season was never gonna end, honestly. Uh, no, no, no uh, next season is twenty four as well, but uh, they're gonna have twenty five for twenty six. So uh, sorry, twenty five races for twenty six season. Uh, yeah, basically we're having twenty four races again next year. Uh, <laughs> yeah, after this Grand Prix, three months we have F one, but then we're gonna have twenty four races. So. Uh, it makes up for it. I'm honestly, honestly, at this point of the season, I, I think I have enough. I've had enough of F1, uh, so I can. I've, I've, I think we'll be able to handle the break. Also, we have some videos, some predictions, like 2026 uh, season predictions. We'll be react to them. There's gonna be content in the summer break. Uh, sorry, winter break, definitely. So, don't worry about that. Um, we have some plans, at least uh, in our heads. Uh, we're gonna hopefully implement them because. We had some videos that we didn't even publish uh, because we just weren't happy with them. But this time it's going to probably change. Anyways, uh, Abu Dhabi. Okay. Uh, the biggest news, I would say, is Ocon being dropped by Alpine. Uh, the reasoning, official reasoning, is for them to part so Ocon can take uh, the postseason test for Haas. By the way, he could, he could have taken that even without being dropped. So, yeah, there, there's that. Uh, uh, I'll let you go because I already ranted about Lewis, I think, a lot uh, last video. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think they're very yeah they're very close yeah they're very close to each other in terms of performance but some Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, definitely not gonna root for this team anymore. Like, even in, like, yeah, I like the drivers, like, doing 
is a nice bloke. Gasly is uh, definitely a very likable driver. And I, yeah. I'm secretly, like, internally rooting for since, like, 2019 already. Uh, I really wanted to him succeed at Red Bull, but he was dropped after half a season, which was, in retrospect, pretty harsh, I think. Like, when you think about it, it all went to this point. Like, if they wouldn't have dropped Gasly, they would have treated him right, which is pretty difficult for Red Bull, to be fair, but... Uh, imagine they would have actually kept Gasly. He would have developed a little bit more. Stop being, stop, stop, stop trying to push himself to be a first step, and he would try to make his own setups and basically drive the car the way he wanted to um, instead of Max Verstappen setups. He could have been up there. Like he, when you compare Gasly in 2019 to Paris in this season, it's not even comparable like by any stretch of imagination. And I would say Max in 2019 was not as good as 2024 Max. So, yeah, I, I just, in retrospect, I think Gasly should have stayed at Red Bull. Also, Albon was uh, rest, the rest of the decision as well. He was half a season at Toro Rosso before being promoted. 2019, Albon, all right. Uh, got one, uh, one very good moment that he equaled Max in Suzuka qualifying. But apart from that, was also... Uh, Yeah, didn't Max have like a couple of DNFs? Uh, yeah, Max was uh, was ha yeah, it's it's one of those. Yeah, like like Lewis having more points than George uh, for most of the season as well. It's it's uh, yeah, you don't think that's actually the truth, but it's 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 the it's the point. So yeah, I just feel uh, we we obviously got uh, from Albon to Perez. Looked all right in 2021 at points, could even beat Max. Um, but after winning the title, Max already had was a champion. Perez says, yeah, he helped him get the first title tremendously. But after that, he was supposed to be the number two, getting P2s every single race or single qualifying, like Bottas did to Hamilton. He didn't. He disappeared after the first five races every single season uh, in 2022, 2023, and 2024 was the exact same story every single season. Uh, only difference was at 2.2, the race wasn't close. Uh, so Red Bull, even if it was a huge gap, Perez would still be like in the top five or whatever. Uh, 2022, yeah, that was the season where the Char Charles got P2 off of him in the end. Um, oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Interesting, we only had 20 minutes and we're talking about Perez. Okay, sorry. Oh my god. Okay, well, let's get to the cruel vibrations. Uh, I think we should go to the further predictions and we're gonna talk about that if we have the spare time. Okay. Okay, P5 from your side because I've started with. Well, Okay, I'm going to start this time because I've started with your predictions every time uh, I record it alone. Uh, um, uh, actually, forgot what I wanted to. Okay, I'm going to go with Carlos Sainz P5. <laughs> the Carlos Sainz and P5 are like tied to each other to each other uh, in our season. It's like it, it makes sense. Uh, <laughs> it's it's all to play for. It's the final final race and. We were very close in the championship, I think. And this is the, this is the, this is after China. Yeah, yeah, this season. Uh, uh. Yeah, yeah, this uh, P four is let's go Piastri. Yeah, I didn't have the greatest 2023 Abu Dhabi, but I think McLaren is a better car this year. Yeah, probably should have. Uh, now that I think about it, probably should have went differently, but... Uh, this is... I have, I have to remove one driver from here. But I just don't want to. Uh, 
Georgia's been so good in qualifying, I kind of need to into the top, into top three, but I also cannot remove any other three drivers. Okay, um, I'm gonna leave Russell out, um, I guess. I'm gonna... I'm gonna stand with Leclerc, uh, part P3. That's uh, actually a pretty bold one. <laughs> you, you honestly can go for extra ball prediction that Hamilton not qualifies Russell because it, it, it has happened like five times this season out of 20 free qualifying so far. So it's it's a pretty rare occasion. Okay, P2, Lana Norris. Uh, yeah, he's free in qualifying. McLaren's going to be good. No, it's not weird, honestly, because, yeah, Abu Dhabi is a specific track that at the end of the season, the teams are, uh, are in a very specific, uh, or specific, uh, very different uh, pecking order because everyone's just lo running their last parts of their engines, like, <laughs> the, the last bits that are still working on their engines, there will be some mechanical DNFs like we saw in 2022 for Hamilton and so on. Um, yeah, it's been a while, but yeah, Max P1 in qualifying. I don't know when was the last time that I put Max for for P1 in uh, in, uh, in qualifying, but yeah, it's up there again. Max's Red Bull upgrades worked after uh, after Singapore in in Kota. If Ferrari were just way too quick for them, uh, so then it was Mexico. Mexico was a one off. I think that track really didn't suit the Red Bull in terms of race but after that max was just up there uh in the top three every single time so i think max is just he's back he's back he's not gonna just end the season uh, as he did uh oh sorry as end the season um the way that have the championship have been going uh, after summer break i think it's gonna be up there abu dhabi also he won the last four times uh yeah 2021 2022 2023 10.4 uh, he's so he's won here four times in a row. Free if you're really uh, into details, <laughs> maybe. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Max is just good at his track. Uh, that's what I'm thinking. Russell P5. Okay, uh, I, I, I have to have a Mercedes in the top five because they've been strong uh, in the last few races, so yeah. Okay. Right, okay, I'm E4, I'm gonna go with, hmm, yeah, no, actually, okay, I'm gonna go with Charles, E4. Okay, 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 okay. P3, Colonel Sainz, uh, finishing head of Charles III um, on the podium. This is probably my boldest prediction <laughs> in the entire prediction, but yeah, I'm going for it. Uh, Carlos to finish his last race for Ferrari end of Charles III. I mean, eight points is close, but he would need to. But eight points is. Yeah. It, it, 
it sounds exciting, but also uh, eight points is a difference between uh, P2 and P5. So uh, unless Norris has a really, really bad race, he's not getting that second place in championship. So, okay, uh, P2. Well, there is thing there. Um, I don't think there's much, there's much gonna change in the top two. I think Max is gonna walk away with a win, like he did in the last three years. Uh, but now, let's say, 2021, because it there wasn't. <laughs> okay, uh, I should not mention I'm going to be 20.1 because we're going to get elsewhere. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Okay, I'll uh, go for it. P2. Alright, so so we can go for P1 as well, I guess. Unless, unless you have a Mercedes there. <laughs> Also, it's my qualifying order. <laughs> yes. uh, how am I supposed to know the purpose you picked the, the predictions after me? No, no, no. I, I actually didn't think about the, the championship at, before, like, based on prediction. I just, I just went for that spontaneously. I, I, I even forgot that PS was in P4 and Kyle was P5. Okay, uh, fastest lap. It worked out pretty well for me in, uh, in the past couple of races. I'm gonna st still go with Norris. So, guy, the fastest lap at the pitting at the end from P12. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, maybe, you know, we never know. Maybe extra prediction is gonna. It's <laughs> joking. Uh, okay, at least impressive team. Uh, I'm gonna look back to last Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. Who was a, it was a really bad team. Um, Alright, well, I'll ask the Martin. You can go for it as well. I mean, we have we already have a couple of predictions the same, like signs and stuff and Norris. It's not the last race because the yeah, new is still on like currently leave in twenty twenty five. I think. Yeah, yeah, he's not gonna have a say in twenty twenty five Aston. He's gonna have a say. A little bit of a say in 20.6 Aston, but not that much uh, either. So it's going to be like 20.7 onwards that the new Imagic can kick in. All right, a least impressive driver. Um, mm, okay, I, I wanted to pick Duen because uh, I thought I think he's not going to do well, but also we, I, I don't think I have expectations for him, so it probably wouldn't work. Uh, if he doesn't DNF and finishes like Two places behind Gasly. That's gonna be a good performance, I think. Um, so yeah, uh, this impressive driver. Uh, I'm gonna go with Piastri. No apparent reason, just uh, vibes. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I had it worked out for you like at least once. It, it, did, it did one like in Imola, I think. Brazil. No, it was it was Stroll. There are also some other drivers. It, it was Holkenberg after him. I think we agreed on that because Holkenberg was. Oh. 
<laughs> uh, did you did you watch the predictions back? Uh, like the 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 points. Oh, I, I don't even remember my reasoning. I think I, I think I give it to Stroll or Hulkenberg, but definitely uh, didn't pick Alonso. I think it was like fourth or fifth on my list. There are some drivers so uh, definitely less impressive. Uh, in Brazil, okay, most impressive team. Most impressive team. Who did I pick? Who did I pick? Who did I pick? Who did I pick? Alpine. I don't know. <laughs> it's, a, it's a random prediction. I, uh, Alpine uh, getting rid of a driver. A very bad decision. I really don't like the team, but <laughs> it's the, yeah, you know what? If it's the opposite, uh, opposite if it has the opposite effect like it uh had for me most of the season like whenever i picked Haas or midfield team or toro rosso they used to have the one of their worst weekends so maybe i can reverse jinx it again uh a midfield team and help me have a good bad weekend i don't wish bad for gasly but there's a team doesn't really deserve that much It worked once in Las Vegas. I don't know. I just, I just don't. Maybe if the if, if both Ferraris, both McLarens and Max DNF. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, most impressive driver. Uh, Max just happened. Domination from qualifying to the race, I think he's not going to look back and he's going to, maybe not a grand slam, but he's going to dominate the race. That's what I'm thinking, uh, basically. Finish, to, finish the season on the higher end, according to What if he wins, but his not, car is not the fastest? Maybe. Yeah. Cause. Uh, yeah. It's, to be fair, yeah, right. But I, I think this is really gonna be a Max Verstappen weekend. That's why I picked him. You know, he had one really good weekend in in Kota, but well, it didn't quite go through. <laughs> uh. Anyway, the uh, external prediction. I'm um, going to go with uh, Learn expanding their lead over Ferrari. Is there some talk that Ferrari may be with the constructors? I think the exact opposite is going to happen. McLaren is going to win and even by a bigger margin that. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's such a, such a huge font. Okay, that's better. Um, Basically, they're going to extend their lead over Ferrari. Uh, even though my Grand Prix predictions don't uh, look like it, but I'm going to go for it, for it anyway. <laughs> I think you picked the quota and he actually did, did crash. So you know, maybe I'm wrong. Oh, Singapore, yeah, it was Singapore. <laughs> So we have a 100% with uh, 100 point rate on this prediction. <laughs> uh, interesting. Maybe it's gonna it's gonna stay there. Uh, never know. Russell had some crashes this year already. Um, yeah. We, how 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 long do you have left? Okay, go for it. <laughs> Saying that 
lost its track to Russell. Max literally dodged the Lando in the exact same race. As Charles was speeding under the safety car. When there was literally, I've seen the clip, it's a single yellow flag that Lando can see. But that's the reason that uh, he's said. It's crazy. It is crazy that, that Max has decided that Lando is his now worst enemy. This is some drama, but it absolutely shouldn't have happened. Max needs to. He's, he's done this stuff before, you know, the, the whole uh, spat with Ocon at the Brazilian Grand Prix. You know, it's, it just gets involved in stupid, petty shit. <laughs> That's fine. I'm I'm not monetized anyway. <laughs> yep. Uh, kind of agree with you, uh, but I'm still gonna wait till all the all the details are out because it's just the statement after statement. It's getting updated pretty much like every hour. Uh, there's some new statement coming out from whoever, even Alonso and Norris. I made some st statements about it. Doris was like right next to them when they discussed it as well, so he probably knows what happened. Um, yeah, I, it, it it's it's drama. It's the drivers not being like fully friends with each other, which is also a good thing because like, all the entire like we're all friends with each other is uh, it's not like it's not what we're used to in F one. Um, I'm here for the right. Um, yeah, I still, I still think this is, this is part of F1. Uh, I, I like these things as they make the sport what it is. I, I think if, if we had like 20 Valtteri Bottas's that we, it would not be as exciting as it is right now. Don't get me wrong. I, I don't, I don't. Ugh, but that's just Max's personality, unfortunately. Yeah. Also, uh, there's two typos that I'm going to fix uh, right before we end the, the video. Uh, so we have one and a half minutes uh, till you have to go. Uh, okay, <laughs> let's do the outro, hopefully, on the first try. Okay, thanks everyone for listening to us. Uh, had another a couple of rants, but mostly predictions for the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix last race of the season. It's been a little, it's been a long ride, and we're happy to have you. Anyway, so uh, see you next time for the Abu Dhabi reaction for the last time this season. Bye. <laughs>